guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So kali ini aku bakal bikin video react and story time to my time as Miss Global Indonesia. So yeah, let's start. So video pertama aku bakal react itu a summary of my journey. So this is a little bit of an introduction buat kalian about my journey as Miss Global Indonesia. So this was a present dari mama aku. So she gave me this as a present after my time in Miss Global. Miss Global 2018 at the Philippines. So this was the opening number. Oh, that's me! Masih apa sedikit-sedikit. I love that so much. Aku pas ngomong itu bener-bener bangga banget. Top 20 Miss Global. I was so happy, I was so nervous. And aku thankful banget aku dipanggil top 20. Top 20 swimsuit. I love that picture. Aku bener-bener merasa kayak Victoria's Secret model. Crazy, untuk melihat kayak gini, it's crazy. Best evening gown. I love this dress. So this dress itu by Diana Couture and it, it, it was amazing. Miss Photogenic. Ini aku nggak nyangka banget aku dapat Miss Photogenic and it was really shocking for me to get it. Aku kaget banget and I was really really happy. By the way, itu pialanya hilang. Aku nggak tahu kemana. <laughs> so waktu kita berdiri top 20. Itu pialanya kita yang bawa. Terus diambil, terus pokoknya minta balik. The staff say they don't know where it is. So I don't know where that trophy went. Wow, okay. So that was a little summary of my Miss Global journey. So let's start from somewhat the beginning. So in the beginning, winning Miss Global Indonesia. Jadi habis menang Miss Global Indonesia, then I had around nggak sampai satu tahun beberapa bulan aja untuk persiapan ke internasional jadi dalam waktu itu aku diet workout training and getting prepared with all these dresses so a little bit of backstory nah ini cerita tentang preskon aku sebelum Miss Global International Sebelum aku berangkat, aku minta ke management Miss Global buat ngadain press conference for me to go to international. Nggak tahu kenapa, aku benar-benar merasa it's really really important to do that. And I'm very 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 blessed and lucky and grateful itu terjadi karena sebelum aku mau berangkat, kita sudah prepare everything, the evening gown, the final dress, semuanya sudah terpilih. Dan waktu press con ini, as you can see, this gold dress is supposed to be my evening gown dress. And for my final gown is this red beaded dress that is nude and has all these red beads. So that was supposed to be my final dress. Now back to the gold dress. Gold dress ini, I showed it in the press conference. Aku jalan pakai itu dan fotonya beredar kemana-mana. And the pageant lovers, which I'm so grateful, they express their truthful opinion and mereka bilang, this gold dress is a no. Mereka nggak suka, aku kelihatan kurang bagus di situ, and they did not want that evening gown. And karena feedbacknya dari pageant lovers kurang, so we decided to change it up and to make a brand new dress cuma dua minggu sebelum aku berangkat ke Philippines. This was such a daring move and we know we had to make it work. 
Buat kalian yang belum tahu final dress aku seperti apa, just keep watching. Itu menurut aku cita unik di mana aku merasa pageant lovers and their support really really helped me in my Miss Global journey and this was one of the examples of that. So then I received my Miss Global Indonesia poster. So this was my poster of this is one of my favorite pictures ever and this is so dear to my heart. Dan akhirnya it's time for me to go to the Philippines. Jadi ini foto aku di Jakarta sebelum berangkat ke Philippines and I was so excited. So the arrival dress code was yellow. Dan kan juga bisa lihat bagasinya banyak banget and that is for all Miss Global outfits itu semua di bagasi itu. So a little interesting story, aku tuh berterima kasih banget sama orang tua aku karena I've never been to the Philippines before and my dad, papaku itu ngantar aku sampai Filipin. So he flew to the Philippines, nginep semalam dan besoknya tuh balik lagi hanya to make sure that I arrived in Philippines safely. And I'm really 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 grateful that he did that karena waktu aku sampai di Philippines, ternyata ada miskom dengan transportasinya Miss Global. Jadi transportasinya sudah kembali ke hotel terlebih dahulu dan aku tertinggal di airport. And I'm so lucky ada papaku di sana and he made sure aku aman sampai ke hotel dan bergabung dengan Miss Global Organization yang ada di sana. Okay, so paginya datang, malamnya is welcome dinner. So this is the outfit that I wore for welcome dinner. So the dress code was pink and this is one of my favorite dresses by Diana Putri because it really 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 is so beautiful and I love it so much. So di welcome dinner ini pertama kalinya aku menerima sash Indonesia and I was so excited because it was my first international pageant sash dan bertemu dengan missus yang lain and they were all so kind so it was really really an incredible night. After the welcome dinner, the next day is training day. Yes, hari pertama langsung training. So kita training positions, opening dance, the dress code, it was red and black and I thought this dress itu beautiful banget and juga it was quite comfy for dancing. And a little fun fact, di Philippines kita train di tempat di mana Catriona Gray berlatih. And I was super excited and I was so happy with Katrina Gray. She is one of my role models. And yeah, just to be there and training in the place of Katrina Gray is so surreal and I was so excited. So as you can see, ini kita lagi latihan opening dance. Dan waktu opening dance ini, kita perlu step yang agak lebar. Karena aku terlalu excited untuk nari opening dance. As you can see, baju aku sobek. I was too excited with the dance. Dan kenapa itu pelitnya di luar? Karena the only time I could fix it, itu waktu kita ngantri opening number satu-satu. Jadi aku waktu nunggu antrian, aku cepet-cepet ambil safety pin dan aku cepet-cepet perbaikin. And that's why agak messy, but everything turned out well and I was so excited for my first day in training. Next is charity day. So charity day ini kita mengunjungi suatu tempat di Manila and kita berbagi stationeries, baju, sandal, makanan dengan anak-anak yang di sana. So as you can see, we all had a lot of fun and they made my day and it was really really an incredible memory. Hari selanjutnya is photo shoot day dan ini hari yang aku sangat tunggu-tunggu karena aku masih nyaman banget ke waktu photo shoot. So it was really really something I was looking forward to. So this was the outfit that I wore and dress itu pink and I always want to incorporate Indonesia in my outfits. Makanya aku pakai batik yang warna pink. Dan waktu photo shoot day ini kita foto headshot, national costume dan evening gown. So this is my headshot picture. Aku senang banget dengan hasilnya. This is one of my favorite favorite pictures that I miss global and I really really love it so much. So this is my national costume photo shoot. Kalian kalau bisa lihat aku agak squatting dan holding my core karena backgroundnya itu sangat pendek. So kalau aku berdiri, mahkota national costume aku tuh kepotong. So I had to squat down and really really hold my core to get that picture. But I think it turned out very well. And lastly is my evening gown. Nah, aku nggak tahu kenapa, tapi hasil photo shoot ini aku sudah cari di mana-mana tidak ada. Aku nggak dapat. Aku cari di website, cari di Facebook, cari di social media mereka tidak ada sama sekali. So I'm just gonna show you guys what dress I wore. So this was the dress that I wore. Kenapa kita memilih dress ini? Karena ada garudanya. So I really really want to show Indonesia in every aspect of my journey, and that's why we chose this dress. The next day is again photo shoot. Tapi kali ini is a swimwear photo shoot. Ini pertama kalinya aku photo shoot dengan swimwear, and I was so excited. So this is the result. Aku happy banget dengan hasilnya karena aku merasa through this picture I am able to show confidence and I'm really really happy with the result. And we had our press conference. Jadi waktu press conference kita harus menunjukkan yellow swimwear and red dress. Ini yang seharusnya menjadi my final dress, tapi we changed it and it became my red press con dress. So this is me with the yellow swimwear. Ini waktu swimsuit segment of 
the press conference and I was really really excited and nervous karena ini pertama kalinya aku fashion show menggunakan swimwear di depan banyak orang and I think it turned out so great and I was so happy with how I did moving on to preliminary So preliminary kita ada dua national costume and evening gown. So now I'm gonna react to the national costume preliminary. Untuk preliminary national costume ini, sayangnya kita tidak menggunakan national costume kita sendiri, tetapi di provide oleh designer dari Filipina. So baju yang aku pakai itu traditional baju Filipina yang dibuat oleh designer Filipina. So this was the dress that I was signed and it was really really nice. So the sleeve is traditionally Filipino style. So next is the evening gown preliminary. Okay, so a little bit backstory. Untuk preliminary evening gown, Miss USA sudah dipanggil untuk juara tiga, dan ini Miss Philippines dipanggil untuk juara dua. Dan Miss Philippines and USA itu one of the front runners in the competition. Mereka sudah menang berulang-ulang kali dan mereka berdua adalah favorit dari para juri. And waktu aku tak tahu mereka berdua nomor tiga dan nomor dua, I was really really nervous dan aku juga bingung who will it be? Karena aku merasa who can top them both? So yeah, let's watch. Indonesia. If you guys hear di belakang ada, that is my mom. Aku bakal ulang lagi. Indonesia. So that was my evening gown performance. Dan kalian bisa lihat, you can see from my face. Aku lihat ke samping, aku lihat ke orang tua aku. I was like, oh my god, I won. Aku nggak percaya banget. Dan aku kayak was so happy. I was smiling ear to ear. Ya aku benar-benar happy banget with how I did. Oh my god, I was so happy. This is a picture of me with the reigning Miss Global, and I was so excited. So baju ini didesain oleh Diana Putri, and it is encrusted with ten. Thousand Swarovski crystals. So it was so amazing to see the light hit the dress and it shined so beautifully. There is a story behind this dress. Karena pageant lovers bilang no to the gold dress. Dua minggu sebelum aku berangkat Philippines, this dress was made. Then the first fitting I've ever done itu waktu tiga jam sebelum aku harus berangkat ke Filipina dan itu belum ada cut outnya, dressnya masih belum fit it perfectly. So my mom brought the dress from Indonesia to the Philippines pada hari H preliminary dan aku baru dapat dress itu di tangan aku tiga jam sebelum eventnya. I was so nervous dan aku belum coba baju itu sebelum aku on stage. So really the first time I wore that dress selesai is when I was on stage. But thankfully, the dress fitted perfectly, and it went by so well. So now it is finals. Gonna react to the opening dance video right now. So I'm gonna skip langsung yang di part ada aku nya. Okay, so this is me. Masih hafal terus tipis lah ya. Jadi aku masih ingat banget, aku latihan dance ini di kamar mandi, di bus, di mana mana aku latihan karena aku nggak mau salah. And di tengahnya merah itu the reigning queen. Wait. Oh my God! Okay, so as you guys see, pos aku paling beda sendiri dong. But oh my God! Jadi trainernya itu bilang, girls kalian kalau di depan kan harus pose yang strong. Boleh gini, boleh gini, boleh gini. And I did exactly that. Aku milih pose itu. Tapi ternyata yang girls yang lain cuma kayak gini dong. Jadi aku kelihatan kayak orang paling aneh sendiri. That's why my mom. That's why. That's why my mom bilang ke aku, Feb, pose mu kok aneh sendiri? And I was like, that's what they asked. Karena yang lain gak ngikutin. <laughs> Jadi justru aku ngikutin, aku malah kelihatan kayak beda sendiri. But, oh well. 
sebelum aku berangkat ke Miss Global International, one of my goals itu biar Indonesia waktu opening dance di depan dan di tengah. That was one of my goals. Karena aku mau waktu acaranya pertama mulai, aku mau langsung judge-nya lihat Indonesia front and center. And so, yeah, I was so happy I was able to do that. Ini lagu ini stuck in our heads for weeks, for days. Kita selalu ini embedded to my brain. So after the opening dance, it's time for my opening number. So let's check that out. Okay, so this is my opening number. Could you imagine? I was 19. Aku umur 19 waktu ikut Miss Global International ini. Oh my God, aku nggak kebayang. So after the opening number, top 20 dipanggil. So this was a picture of me saying thank you to the judges for top 20. So habis opening number, next is top 20 swimsuit competition. So yeah, langsung lihat videonya yuk. Oh my God, waktu ini aku langsung was so focused. Oke, okay. waktu video ini keluar, a lot of people yang komen, oh nggak seperti pageant, ngapain nunjuk ke kamera, ngapain do all those things. Nah, itu actually diminta sama Miss Global Organization-nya. Mereka minta point at the camera, blow a kiss to the camera, interact with it. So, that is exactly what I did, makanya aku ngelakuin itu. Jadi, depan itu ada anginnya. And I really, really felt like I was in a picture of your run. Tapi sayangnya aku tidak lolos top 10 and I was really really disappointed but aku really really looking forward to the wild card. Wild card dimana everyone can vote dan yang punya vote paling banyak dapat menempati posisi wild card ini. Tapi sayangnya dengan wild card ini kita ada insiden. So aku baru tahu ini setelah acaranya sudah selesai. Ternyata aku tidak eligible untuk wild card karena dari pihak organisasinya merasa secara nggak langsung kita curang karena the amount of likes yang digunakan untuk vote is rapidly increasing dalam waktu yang singkat dan mereka merasa itu tidak mungkin dan secara nggak langsung mereka merasa kita beli padahal dengan support pageant lovers and all my friends and family they tried their best to support me but that is what happened dan aku nggak mau komplain waktu saat itu atau membuat drama karena aku nggak mau nama Indonesia terlihat jelek. So I just keep it to myself and we do not really tell anyone and it is what it is and I'm still very grateful for my experience. So after that, it's time for the awards and aku kaget banget. I did not expect I won Miss Photo Gen. And dan kalian bisa lihat kenapa baju aku di sini is different dan ini baju dari Filipino designer that the top 20 needed to wear and do a runway with. So last but not least, the winner of Miss Global 2018 is Miss Hong Kong, Sofia. Dia salah satu teman baik aku waktu karantina. She was like a big sister to me and I love her so much that I really really think she deserved it. She is such a sweetheart and I'm really really happy that she won. So don't forget to follow me at Fabiana underscore FNG and please subscribe, like and comment to my YouTube channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell kalau belum. And so yeah. I will see you in the next video. Bye!